Jovaline, a multifunctional health formulation developed by Health Forever Products Limited. This presentation will discuss the following, sorghum background information and traditional uses, safety of Jovaline, and research done on Jovaline. Sorghum bicolor is a species of grass originally cultivated in Africa for its nutritious grain. Sorghum is now grown in many tropical and subtropical regions of the world. Historical uses of sorghum include food, hot teas, beers, and traditional medicinal extracts. Many parts of the sorghum plant have been used for consumption. These include the seeds, leaves, leaf sheaths, stems, and root. Jovaline is an extract derived specifically from the leaf sheaths. This photograph points out the leaf sheath that is used to produce jovaline. Jobeline is produced from a unique variety of sorghum bicolor recently domesticated from a West African wild variety. These photographs demonstrate what one variety of sorghum bicolor looks like. Jobeline has a potential as a food colorant because it contains a polyphenol antioxidant with an intensely red color. This polyphenol is named 3-deoxyanthocyanidin. One reason this compound has a great potential as a food colorant is that it is remarkably resistant to pH changes and bisulfate. pH changes and addition of bisulfate is often used in preventing food spoilage. Many other natural colorants, such as anthocyanin, do not tolerate these changes very well. Sorghum bicolor has been found to contain antiviral peptides. These peptides have so far been documented in the seeds, but may also be present in other parts of the plant. These peptides have been shown to inhibit herpes simplex virus, non-envelope poliovirus, and may provide support to patients with chronic viral illnesses. Additional data relevant to HIV will be presented later in this presentation. Sorghum bicolor has been shown to have both anti-inflammatory and pro-inflammatory properties. Anti-inflammatory properties include reduced production of IL-1-beta and TNF-alpha. Pro-inflammatory properties include initiation of macrophage activation. This dual effect implies that sorghum bicolor has the ability to modulate inflammatory reactions. Sorghum bicolor has several additional health benefits. Sorghum bicolor has been shown to increase hemoglobin and red blood cell numbers in anemic rats and has been used by some medical practitioners to treat anemia in humans. Sorghum bicolor has been shown to have liver protecting properties. Finally, Sorghum bicolor has been shown to have pain relieving properties. With this general information about sorghum in mind, I will now discuss the current science and research on Jobeline. Research on Jobeline has followed this sequence. Safety was tested in animals. Specific mechanisms of action were tested in laboratory assays. Immune modulating effects were tested in humans with chronic viral disease. The specific mechanisms of action involved testing of chemical antioxidant capacity using the ORAC test, testing of cellular antioxidant protection using the CAP-E test, testing of anti-inflammatory properties in various cellular models in vitro, and evaluating immune activation in cellular assays in vitro. Jobeline has been tested for safety and toxicology in mice. The data suggests that Jobeline is safe for human consumption in quantities many times above the recommended dosage level of 1.5 grams per day. Oxygen is essential for our life. However, oxygen is used in chemical reactions in our body to produce free radicals, which are harmful electrically charged ions. Antioxidants are compounds capable of neutralizing free radicals that would otherwise potentially damage cells and tissues. Antioxidants help to prevent damage to cells and tissue and provide multifaceted health benefits. There are different methods to test for antioxidants. Each method provides different information. For this reason, a sequential testing strategy was used. The Oxygen Radical Absorbance Capacity or ORAC test is a widely used antioxidant test. It measures chemical antioxidant capacity and was used to test Jobeline. While the test helps demonstrate whether a product contains chemicals that are able to perform antioxidant reactions, it does not tell us if compounds are functioning as protective antioxidants in biological systems. Because of this limitation of the ORAC test, the cellular antioxidant protection in erythrocytes or CAP-E test was also used to test Jobeline. This test directly measures antioxidant uptake and protection at the cellular level. 
The antioxidant test results showed that Jobelin has strong antioxidant properties. Jobelin demonstrated a high ORAC score. The total ORAC score for Jobelin per gram was 37,622. As you will see on the following slide, this is higher than many other foods. According to the USDA database, Jobelin scores higher than many other antioxidant-rich foods. Jobelin scores even higher than some of the well-known fruits and berries including acai and tart cherries. Jobelin showed cellular antioxidant protection capacity in the CAP-E test. The cellular protection seen in the CAP-E assay allows us to conclude that Jobelin contains antioxidants that are bioavailable and functional at the cellular level. Protection was seen both in the water extract and in the ethanol extract. This suggests a complex range of biologically active antioxidants in Jobelin. The CAPI data serve as a baseline that helps to discern and interpret more complex biological effects in other cellular models. To summarize the last few slides, Jobelin contains high levels of antioxidants and some of these are in a form that is available to protect living cells from oxidative damage. We will now examine Jobelin's effect on inflammatory reactions involving human cells in vitro. Inflammation plays a key role in numerous pathologies including cardiovascular disease, autoimmune disorders, allergies, metabolic disorders and obesity, arthritis, and neurological disorders. Inflammation may play a role in cancer initiation and progression and plays a role in HIV infection. Inflammation involves a complex system of pathways, including free radical oxidative damage, migration, and infiltration of inflammatory cells into an inflamed tissue, escalating the process by inflammatory enzymes such as COX-2 and pain, among others. Many plant-based compounds can help to block many of these inflammatory pathways. Jobelin was tested for anti-inflammatory properties in several assays using human inflammatory cells. The tests examined whether Jobelin had effects on the production of reactive oxygen species by inflammatory cells and migration of cells in response to the inflammatory mediator leukotriene B4. The graph shows results from treating inflammatory cells with Jobelin before triggering the cells to produce free radicals as part of an inflammatory reaction. Cells treated with Jobelin showed reduced free radical production. This inflammatory effect was also seen for both the water-based and the ethanol extract of Jobelin. This graph shows results from treating inflammatory cells with Jobelin before placing the cells in an environment where an inflammatory mediator sends a signal for the cells to migrate towards the inflamed area. The graph shows the percentage change in migratory activity after cells were treated with Jobelin. It can be seen that Jobelin inhibited the migration. The inhibition was seen both for the water-based and the ethanol extract of Jobelin. The anti-inflammatory effect was seen even at very low doses of Jobelin. To summarize the data shown on the last few slides, Jobelin showed anti-inflammatory properties in several parallel assays using human inflammatory cell types. Please note that both the water-based and the ethanol extract produced this result, indicating that the anti-inflammatory effect is likely caused by multiple compounds acting in synergy. Let us move on from anti-inflammatory effect to immune modulation. It is important to know whether Jovaline has a balancing effect by not only being able to inhibit inflammatory reactions, but also be able to enhance immune defense mechanism. Jovaline was tested for its ability to activate several types of immune cells. The immune system is a complex system of cells involved in the defense against bacteria, viruses, and cancer. These cells interact in orchestrated ways involving activation and secretion of intercellular signals. When immune cells are activated, they send and receive signals. Activated immune cells have receptors on the cell surface to receive incoming signals and also secrete signaling compounds to other cells. Jobelin was tested for effects at both levels. The data you will see on the following slides show that Jobelin's immune modulating effects are not simply due to a single compound such as beta-glucan. Both the water extract and the ethanol extract showed multifaceted immune activating properties. On the graph to the left we show the activating effect of Jobelin on natural killer cells and to the right we show the activating effect of Jobelin on killer T cells. 
The blue bars show the effects of water extract and the orange bars show the effects of the ethanol extract. It is clear that the extracts have different properties. On the graph to the left, we show the activating effect of jobelene on T lymphocytes, and to the right, we show the activating effect of jobelene on monocytes. T lymphocytes and monocytes both contribute to cytokine production. Monocytes are a type of antigen presenting cell. The ethanol based extract has activating properties on both cell types. As I mentioned earlier, the immune cells interact with each other in orchestrated ways involving activation and secretion of intercellular signals. We have seen how jobelene is able to activate several types of immune cells. Now we will see data from jobelene's effect on secreted intercellular signals. These secreted compounds are called cytokines. Some cytokines are also called chemokines because they induce chemotaxis. We will show data on several cytokines that are involved in antiviral immune defense mechanisms. Jobelene treatment of immune cells resulted in upregulation of numerous cytokines, both pro and anti inflammatory. Of particular interest in light of jobelene's effect on killer cell activation is the specific upregulation of several chemokines involved in antiviral defenses. The three antiviral chemokines that were affected by jobelene are MYP1-alpha, MYP1-beta, and Rantes. These three chemokines were shown to suppress the viral replication of HIV in human peripheral blood monocytes. A clinical study was conducted at the Navy Reference Hospital in Lagos to evaluate the effects of jobelene on cellular immunity in HIV-positive patients. The 12-week study involved 64 HIV-positive patients. The 64 patients were placed in different groups. The healthiest people with a CD4 T cell count higher than 300 cells per microliter consumed jobelene only and were not receiving antiretroviral treatment. The more symptomatic patients with a CD4 T cell count lower than 300 received antiretroviral treatment and some also received jobelene. The T cell counts were determined at baseline and after 6 and 12 weeks. The average CD4 T cell counts are shown on this graph. The pink line shows the changes in T-cell counts for the healthier people consuming jobelene without receiving antiretroviral treatment. The red line shows changes in T-cell counts for people receiving antiretroviral treatment and also consuming jobelene. The blue line shows data from people receiving antiretroviral treatment without consuming jobelene. The data suggests that consumption of jobelene may support healthier T-cell counts in some HIV-positive patient populations. The mechanism is unknown. Jobelene has several effects on human immune cells in culture that are linked to antiviral mechanism of action. Jobelene activates NK and killer T cells. Jobelene increases the production of antiviral chemokines. In one pilot study, the consumption of jobelene appeared to assist the healthier CD4 T cell count. In order to summarize the research done on jobelene, it seems that jobelene's complex effects involve both pro- and anti-inflammatory effects, as well as activation of multiple types of immune cells. Jobelene has high antioxidant capacity and showed anti-inflammatory effects in multiple laboratory tests. Jobelene treatment of human immune cells in laboratory tests resulted in increased expression of the activation marker CD69 activation of monocytes and macrophages, and changes in cytokine production. Further clinical studies are necessary to solidify the potential promise of jobelene as a nutraceutical support. Jobelene has potential benefits in situations of anemia as well as chronic inflammatory conditions. Jobelene may also offer an adjunct support in patients suffering from chronic viral infections. The goal is to advance jobelene from being seen as a traditional medicinal product to be accepted as a modern nutraceutical product. Science-based support of jobelene's effects will help gain credibility and increased acceptance of this important bioactive product.